for you. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions and all the products which I'm going to be using in this video are all high-end products which is a little bit of a change for me because I do usually do more drugstore and more affordable kind of products and makeup videos so it's a little bit of a change and I'm quite excited to do this video for you. I'm going to be doing as I said a full face of first impressions all the products which I am using in this video were all super, super kindly sent to me by the company Feel Unique. If you guys don't know what Feel Unique is, it's basically an online store where you guys can buy makeup, hair products, skincare products, they've got men's products as well on there. They have a ton of stuff, so you guys can check them out by clicking the link in the description to their website where I purchased all these products from. This video isn't sponsored but I just wanted to mention that they did send me all this stuff which was really really kind of them. So I've got all my products sitting in this box which was delivered a couple days ago and I've been patiently waiting to open it and film this video for you. So thank you to Feel Unique for sending over this stuff. If you do like this video then feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe also down there if you are new to my channel and I will just go ahead and get started with the video. Let's go. So I've got my box of goodies right here and I'm just gonna dive in and start trying out some of these products. So the first product which I'm gonna be trying out today is the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I have heard a lot about this primer and it seems a really good primer. So I'm gonna be trying out today. I don't really know how much to use, so we're just completely guessing. There are children screaming outside. I'm really, really sorry. It does feel really, really nice on my skin. It's kind of like a moisturizer kind of consistency. And on my skin right now, it still feels a little bit tacky, which I think is always a good thing because your foundation sticks to it a little bit more. So the foundation which I picked up from Feel Unique is the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. This is a fairly new product and went around YouTube like crazy with tons of people trying out. So I've now finally got my hands on it. I got this one in the shade number five, which I think for me is gonna be more of a fake tan shade, not so much an everyday shade, but I think that's fine because it is a very full coverage foundation apparently. I'd be more wearing it on nights out, so I would have fake tan on anyway. So I've got a pump and a half on my beauty blender. The colour looks like an okay match so far. It's quite orange, but we'll make it work. Oh my goodness, this is so full coverage, this is actually insane. I can definitely 100% say I have never used a foundation so full coverage. A pump and a half has definitely lasted me really, really well. Um, I definitely don't see a need to go back and use more. Holy moly is this foundation full coverage. Oh my goodness. This is ultra matte, which if you like, it is amazing. I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm now a little bit worried because the concealer I got is very, very light. The concealer which I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I got this in the shade Fair Neutral and it is white. It is so, so pale, which is great because under your eyes you want something that's going to highlight, but this foundation is so dark, I'm really, really scared. <gasps> this is going to look so weird. Ooh, it applies really smoothly. I have no idea how much to use. Maybe this will lighten my foundation up a bit. Well, it's definitely super highlighting. If you're looking for a pale concealer, then this is definitely going to be up your street. And actually, it's blending out not too badly. It's definitely very pale, but it's blending really, really well. 
which I'm really impressed with. The only thing which I do have to say about this concealer is that it's creasing already under my eyes so I'm gonna have to get a powder and set it really really quickly because it's creasing and I've only just applied it. So I don't actually have a powder to try out for you as a first impression so I'm just gonna go and use my Laura Mercier powder because it's a high-end product but I have used this before so it's not a first impression but I'm gonna use this today. I'm gonna do a little bit of baking because I feel like this concealer definitely needs to be set really, really well. So while the powder is doing its thing and baking, even though I'm not that good at baking, I am going to do my eyebrows. So the product which I got from Feel Unique for my eyebrows is the Cabrow by Benefit. I always use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, so this is definitely a huge change for me. I got this in the shade number 3, which looks kind of like my shade. So the product itself looks like this, I'm sure you've seen it around on social media. It feels quite heavy and like good quality. I did not expect it to feel so heavy. Just a random observation. Okay, so it looks a little bit too light for me. But my experience with brow pomades is that they are darker when you put them on your eyes. So maybe it will be okay. Yeah, it's definitely a lot darker once you put it on your eyes. It's maybe just a little bit too dark for me. I maybe should have got number two. Ooh, you can get a really nice clean flick with this. This product's actually really easy to work with. I really like this so far. Oh my gosh, I am loving this product so, so much. This is so, so good. So, so good. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep this powder going for a little bit longer and go ahead and do my eyeshadow and then take it off after. So I'm going to zoom in and do my eyes. So the palette which I'm going to be using today for my eyeshadow is this gorgeous palette here, which is amazing. The packaging is just so, so pretty and it feels so nice. I can't help but touch it. This is the Perfect Me Perfect Hue palette by Stila and it is a face and eyeshadow palette. You get four eyeshadows and I think this is kind of like an eyeshadow too and then you get two blushers as well and they have three different shades of these so they have light, medium and dark and this is the lightest one here because I'm just a paler person so I thought I would go for the lighter one and I just can't get over how cute and how compact the packaging is. Like, it fits in my hand and it has eyeshadows and blushes in it. That's crazy. I think I'm just going to quickly set a base for my eyes. First of all, using this pink pale shade here. The mirror on this palette also is amazing. It's so crystal clear. I can't believe how great this is going to be for travelling. I have a spot here, if you can see it. I, I apologise. But we're all human and I can't help it. I'm sorry. So in my crease today, I'm going to be taking this shade here, which is such a beautiful mauve pinky purple colour. I love this shade so much. This palette is just, it's just me. I love it. So I'm going to be running that mauve shade through my crease. These shades kind of remind me of like the Carly Bible palette. They're all like those kind of shades. I washed my brushes the other day and now they're all so clean and they're so pretty. I love having a full set of clean brushes. It's like the best feeling ever. Okay, it's not the most pigmented shade in the world, but it is quite light, so what can you what can you expect? But you definitely don't get that much color from it, which is a little bit sad because it's so pretty. I think I'm also going to take that kind of in my inner corner as well. So now taking this dark brown shade here, I'm going to be putting that on our inner corner and our outer corner. I think I'm going to go for a bit of a halo eye with this look today. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So just taking this shade here. Ooh, these shadows work so, so well together. They just blend so nicely and the shades themselves just work really, really well. I'm really, really sorry if you can hear like a whole choir of birds outside. It's starting to become springtime and clearly they're just getting way too excited. So I've just wiped off the excess powder off my face because I had a delivery and I didn't want to answer the door 
with powder all over my face and my makeup half done. So I've wiped that off um, on my chin as well and I'm now just going to continue with my eyes. So I'm quickly just going to take these two shades and run them along my lower lash line to balance out this look. This light mauve pink shade is really not that pigmented which is making me really sad. So now I'm going to take this beautiful sparkly shade here in the middle and put this on my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and put this on the centre of my eyelid. <gasps> Whoa, this is super pretty. I'm just taking some of the Moivy Purple shade and just using that to blend the edges. Okay, so I've now just zoomed back a little bit more so you guys can see the overall makeup look and not just my eyes. So to finish off my eyes, I'm going to be doing mascara. So the mascara which I got from Feel Unique is the Benefit Roller Lash, which I have never tried. I absolutely love the packaging of this. It's so, so pretty and just so intriguing. This is amazing. It gets like every single eyelash. Wow. After only a few coats, I can already see my eyelashes looking 10 times better. I see why people like this. I'm actually really, really enjoying the brush. I thought I wouldn't because it was so, so small. But it works so well and it means you can get so much precision from it and really get every single eyelash. It makes your bottom lashes look crazy good too. I can actually feel my bottom lashes on my skin because they're so long. Wow. I'm actually slightly upset inside because this is expensive and I think I've now found like the ultimate mascara. So I'm now just going to go away and do some eyelashes. So I'll be back in a second. So for bronzer, I'm actually not going to be using a new product. I'm just going to be going in and using my Laguna Bronzer by NARS. So I'm quickly just going to use that and then I will get back on to some new products. And then for blusher, I'm going to be going back in to this gorgeous palette. And I think I'm going to take... Hmm. I think I'm going to take the slightly darker one. Ooh, these are pigmented. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have used the lighter one. This colour is so, so pretty and goes really well with the eyeshadow. Stila have done a really good job in creating this palette and making sure the colours all work together really, really well. <gasps> I love that colour so, so much. And then finally, I'm going to be going in with some highlighter. The highlighter which I'm going to be using today is this one here by Laura Geller. I have had my eye on these highlighters for so, so long now. They are so pretty. And the one which I have here is Glided Honey. They have four shades. That's three. They have four shades. And I think this is like their third darkest. Oh my goodness. <gasps> It's not actually too golden. I was scared that it would be just a little bit OTT, but it's actually super, super pretty. And because I've got slightly darker foundation on, it's working really, really nicely. I'm officially in love. For my lips, I could not decide when I was on the website making my order. So I picked up a bunch of lip products. All of them are from NYX, which I know is not technically a high-end makeup brand but it's a makeup brand which I haven't really tested the lip products of yet and they look really pretty so I thought I would try them out. So I got two lip liners and also two of their liquid lingerie lipsticks. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for the slightly darker liquid lipstick which is in the shade Bedtime Flirt with the lip liner which is called Moave. It's a really, really pretty colour, but it is very similar to my lips, so apologies if you can't really see it. It's just kind of one of those colours that are your lip colour, but better. You know those kind of lipsticks? I do really like it, and it is really pretty. I would definitely use that just on its own, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick as well. This liquid lipstick looks really empty, 
it looks like they've only filled it half full, which kind of sucks. I've heard quite a lot of reviews that these liquid lipsticks are really drying, but honestly they're not actually that drying compared to other liquid lipsticks that I've used. Definitely one of the better ones and I love how it looks on my lips. A lot of the time because these kind of products are so drying, they go into like the cracks of your lips and look really really bad. But this doesn't. This looks amazing. Okay, so those were all the products which I had to try out for you. I absolutely love how this makeup look turned out. If I had to pick a couple favourites from the selection which I've used, I would definitely choose the Roller Lash Mascara and also the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick. I'm also really, really impressed with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. From somebody who has very dry skin, I am really impressed at how a matte foundation can actually look good on my skin. And also it hasn't oxidised, which I was worried about because it's quite orange and I was just worried that it was going to get 10 times worse throughout this video, but it actually hasn't. It stayed pretty much the same colour on my face, so I'm really really happy with that also. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and subscribe down below as well to my channel and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!